Hello and welcome to Reviews with Ryan. Today we'll be talking about the brand new drama film, Wolf. This is directed by Natalie Beyond Cherry. She's done some short films and she's done one film called Nocturnal. I have not seen it. I want to thank you guys for clicking on this video. If you like all kinds of movie content, consider subscribing to the channel. Give the video a like. It really helps me out. And comment, are you going to see Wolf? This film is currently in limited theaters. And when I mean limited, I have about 10 theaters near me and only one theater was showing it. But with all that out of the way, let's jump into the review. Wolf is a high concept art house drama about a boy who believes he is a wolf. The film stars Lily Rose Depp, George McKay, and Patty Considine. So Wolf, I've only seen the trailer once. I go to the theater every week and I can tell you I have not seen this trailer at all. I don't think a lot of people know about this film. And from an outside perspective, if you see the title Wolf, you kind of think kind of horror-like. And this is not horror at all. It's a very drama, romance-like kind of film. I will say that they try to make this film very artsy. The soft, gentle colors in the film, they're very nice. They look very nice on screen. There is some decent shots in this. There's a few good shots that I did notice throughout the film, camera work that I liked, but I really liked all the acting. Patty Considine, he's a zookeeper. He's the villain in this. He does a really good job and very convincing role because I really hated him after this film of just kind of embracing that role. So he does a really good job on that. As far as the music goes, it's very soft. It's kind of chill. The film at times is kind of quiet. I don't really necessarily think there's any memorable songs in here, but it definitely has a chill kind of environment and kind of flows with like the colors of the film. And kind of as the film gets a little bit darker, and gets into a little bit more intense moments. The music picks up a little bit, but for the most part, it's kind of chill music. The film starts off with a boy in the woods and then it kind of cuts to the family getting emotional. They send him off to an institution and in this institution, there's all these different kids that feel they are a different animal, such as a parrot, a tarantula, a cat, a squirrel. They all have different feelings of feeling of a specific animal. And they kind of try to give them therapy and kind of do ways of trying to make them believe they're not an animal. Patty Considine, he is a villain in this and he does a really good job. He has these unorthodox methods that he has. And then also with his, the way he treats them, it's more so animal cruelty. Animal cruelty is definitely brought up in this film. And then also I think this has some type of identity crisis within an individual on how they identify themselves. And that seems like it's a big factor in this film and what they're going for. I think also one thing that I didn't like about this film is kind of the romance between Lily Rose Depp and George McKay. I feel like it's very forced at times, especially on the last act. It's very much forced. They have this ending that is very abrupt. I did not like the ending at all. I, this is probably one of the worst endings and most anticlimactic endings that I've seen this year on a film. I just really didn't like how it wrapped up and showed just kind of like a brief glimpse of kind of how their romance was and kind of forced it on the audience. I did mention that I did like the acting in this film. However, I think some of the characters, they're a little underdeveloped a little bit. I feel like some of the characters, they kind of introduce them to us, but they don't really elaborate too much on them as characters. Also, there's some scenes in this where it seems to be a serious scene and there's somebody in the background doing something. I didn't know whether to laugh or kind of take that as just that's in the background for the heck of it, but it was kind of weird that they did that on some of the scenes. The last thing I want to say is the fact that these kids believe that they're animals and there really is no solutions offered didn't really necessarily make the film any better. I think overall, like I said, the acting is good. The music is pretty chill. There's some pretty good shots and scenery, but the romance is about as bad as a Twilight movie, if not worse. Overall, for me, I'm going to give Wolf a score a 2 out of 5. Guys, thank you guys for watching this review, and I'll see you guys on my next review.